the battle over immigration policy continues. Our neighbor to the north is seeing a new trend. Canada says it's seeing an uptick in those crossing from the U.S. into its country, especially Quebec, but data showing that most are not Americans. Well, Molly Line is there to figure it out. You're near the U.S. Canadian border in Quebec with more. And Molly, what are they saying up there? Well, thousands are actually leaving the United States for Canada, and they're not necessarily crossing legally. They're going in between these border checkpoints. They're braving snow and frigid cold in a bid for asylum. We had a chance to witness two young men from Yemen simply strolling across the border yesterday. These people are attempting to avoid border checkpoints and the risk of being sent back to the United States due to a pact dubbed the Safe Third Country Agreement, under which the vast majority of migrants are required to apply for refugee protection in their first first country of arrival. They come from all over the world, a broad spectrum, including families with children. Some are arriving at least uh, fairly well dressed, but others uh, uh, are not and uh, at times have suffered uh, from cold uh, and exposure. Canadian border officials say the number of people seeking asylum has soared in the last year and spiked recently. Since November, more than 1,400 people have entered the Quebec region alone to make a claim. That's more than the total in 2015. Canadian officials say the border crossers cite a wide variety of reasons, from fleeing terror in their home countries to the social benefits of Canada. But immigration advocates say the contrasting rhetoric of Canadian leaders versus U.S. President Donald Trump is playing a role. As Trump acts to crack down on immigration with hardened policies, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has vowed welcome to those fleeing persecution and war. In fact, the information has been given to us by our clientele recently is about the new immigration policy. People without status in the U.S. fear being arrested and deported to their country of origin. This influx is really keeping the Royal Canadian Mounted Police very busy and now with warmer spring weather just around the corner, they may need to further shuffle their resources and add more manpower here at the border. Bill? Interesting story. Thank you. Molly Line, you're the U.S.-Canadian border there. Thank you, Molly.